Hello, scrappers. All right. Um, I've released some videos on Eco Gold decks. Uh, they were getting really long, so uh, I didn't even cover all of the material I wanted to in those videos. So I've decided to um, release a series of short videos to deal with some of the material that did not get covered in the longer videos. So this is going to be another Eco Gold X short. And one question I get a lot in the comments on my other videos is, how do you deal with the waste? And, well, Eagle Gold X tells you how you can deal with the waste. Well, after all of the gold stripping power of the material has been used up and you've extracted all the heavy metals, if you neutralize the pH on it, you should be able to dispose of the liquid. What's in it? I don't know. Is it really legal to dispose of it in your municipality? I can't tell you. Um, but they also say you can just recycle the liquid back into the process. And what I've done is I've kind of put together a closed circuit process for using Eco Gold X where I don't have any waste material. And I call it my four bucket process. I got four or five gallon buckets here. And we start off with the in process bucket. It says Eco, I don't know if the labels on the buckets are all showing up. This one says Eco Gold X in process. This has the liquid I am currently using for stripping gold off of scrap in it. And, you know, I'll mix up a big batch of liquid, and over a few days I'll run a bunch of stuff through it. And uh, so this one is still in process. This still has some stripping power. It's slowing down, though. I've run all my, uh, my high-grade scrap through it, and I'm in the process of running most of the low-grade scrap I have laying around through it. And it's slowing down. It's almost done. So this, this is almost used up. Once it is used up, what I'll do is I'll do two um, cementations on the liquid in here and get out the bulk of the gold, maybe 90% of it, okay? And then the liquid in this bucket, after two cementations, whatever's left over, is going to go into this bucket over here. This bucket is liquid that I accumulate after two cementations. And once this bucket gets pretty full, what I'll do is I'll do another couple cementations on it. I mean, I'm not going to get much gold out of this liquid if I do, you know, a cementation on it now. But if I double, triple, quadruple the amount of liquid in this bucket, I'll double, triple, quadruple the amount of gold I get out and make further cementation start to be worth the effort, okay? So once this bucket's empty, because I've cemented the gold out um, of it and dumped the remains into this bucket, the liquid in this bucket, which is my rinse bucket, you know, when I run material through here, I'll rinse it in here. And there will be some carryover of pregnant solution from this bucket into this bucket each time I rinse material off. I don't want to waste that carried over pregnant solution. So the next batch of Eco Gold X I'll mix up in this bucket, will I'll use the liquid from this bucket to do it. So the liquid in this bucket will go in here. All right, so after this bucket, gets filled up enough for me to do a couple more cementations on it I will consider the liquid that's left over in here to be spent and I will put that liquid in this bucket alright and then when I need a new batch of rinse water I will pull it out of that bucket over there into this bucket so basically you've got this complicated dance going on where the liquid in this bucket is going into this bucket the liquid in this bucket is going into this bucket the liquid in this bucket is going into this bucket, and the liquid in this bucket is going into that bucket. And it's a closed system. There is no waste, okay? I don't have to discard anything. So I don't have to worry about whether I'm breaking any local laws or polluting the bay or whatever. Now, how long this can go on, I don't know. I mean, eventually I'm thinking that salts and whatnot are going to build up in the liquid and it's not going to work so well. But there's a lot of liquid in the mix here. I mean, there's, there's you know, a lot of gallons of liquid here. So it's probably going to be a while before the, the stuff gets so saturated that it's not working so good anymore in this bucket. But, uh, yeah, so far I've got a closed system. So not only am I not producing any waste with this closed system, I'm not losing any gold. You know, there's always going to be a little gold left over after however many cementations I do. But that, the liquid is going to wind up in this spent bucket, which is going to be used to make the rinse water for another batch, which is going to be used to make uh, the stripping mixture for another batch. So the gold doesn't go anywhere. I'm not losing any of it. It's going to be sort of 
just staying in the system. Any that gets missed in, in previous cementations will get another chance to get cemented out in the future. So that's my system right now, my four bucket system, and I hope that answers some questions uh, which I get a lot of about how I deal with the waste when using Eco Goldex. Right now I have no waste. Nothing is going to waste. So uh, yeah, just recycle the liquid back into the system and uh, there's no waste and no way, no way for, to lose gold. All right, well thanks for watching. I hope you found this video interesting, helpful. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe to see future videos. There'll be probably more Eco Gold X shorts and lots of videos on other subjects in the future. So uh, subscribe to see those future videos and press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press to be notified when those videos come out. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Happy scrapping.